Hello everybody. Long awaited video. Not so much for you guys, more so for my wife. Uh, this is actually our personal home. This is our personal refrigerator. Uh, this is a Kenmore uh, cold spot, model number 106-511-22210. And the lights don't work, if you can see. And uh, funny enough, the lights haven't been working for about seven-ish months. And if you're a contractor, or anybody that is in a manual type of industry, you will understand that when somebody else's stuff breaks, you'll get it fixed because it's your job and you want to get paid and everything along those lines. But if anything breaks in your house, you will weigh out the odds and you will say, ah, it's just lights or whatever the circumstance is. So that's the circumstance here in our house. We haven't had lights in our refrigerator for seven months. I don't care, my wife cares, here I am. It is currently 10 o'clock, and I don't know if that'll focus. Focus, 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 focus. There you go. 10 o'clock at night, and I found time to do this. The great thing about this repair is that it takes literally like five minutes. It's not a hard repair at all, and uh, you don't have to break the bank on doing this repair. Um, and I will show you guys exactly what is going on here. So uh, when you open the door, there are two lights in the fresh food section. There's one up here and there's one down over there and I'll show you guys in a second. There are also <clears throat> uh, lights in the freezer and there is one light in the back, back there somewhere. The biggest problem with this refrigerator is there is a main control board type of light. And I bought the new ones here and I'll show you. And I'll have a link to all of this uh, in the description below but you don't wanna buy these factory brand new. These are one of those exceptions that these go bad so often that you don't, you don't wanna buy these. Uh, these are very expensive when it comes from the factory and you could literally buy like this uh, Amazon kit. It has all three boards in it, which we're probably not gonna use all three of them, but it does come with all three and it's like I think 20 or $30, something like that. I'll, I'll link it the Amazon link for how to get this. And this is, I think, the third time or fourth time in the life of this refrigerator that we've actually replaced these boards. And if you buy them factory, I think they're like $120. Like that's our cost. So the retail is probably even more. It's probably $170 or something for something so simple. It's just literally a light board, but that's how they continue to make money, you know? And yeah, so I'm gonna show you that right now. Okay, so this is gonna be a bit of an awkward angle. <clears throat> so I'm gonna do my best to kind of show you guys what I'm doing. What we're gonna be working on is actually, you can see there's a little cover here and there's a light panel uh, that actually houses the light board that's inside. So most likely what you're gonna need to do is only replace this one component. The other light boards are very unlikely <clears throat> to be failed. And the kit comes with three it comes with this board, the one that's on the bottom, and the one that's in the freezer. But I'm 99% sure if I replace this, the other ones are gonna work just fine. Because this is the one that actually controls all of the lighting for the refrigerator. So it's gonna be a little bit of a tight situation. And what you wanna do is there's two tabs on this side that are little clips. There's one here, there's one here, and then there's two in the back as well. So when you're pulling this out, you wanna pry on the front ones here and uh, basically uh, remove this panel down. And then there's gonna be two connectors that you have to disconnect. Now, if you don't have <clears throat> like a plastic pry tool, what you can do is we wanna be DIY friendly. This is just a, a metal screwdriver. Uh, you just take the metal screwdriver, <clears throat> take a little piece of electrical tape and uh, do like one or two rounds around it just to protect um, <clears throat> the plastic from scratching. Just like that, just a little piece of plastic. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna try to be out of your guys' way as much as possible here. We're gonna pry on the top here. Actually, let me see if I zoom in a little bit. All right. And one thing you do wanna do is you wanna make sure your refrigerator is turned off. Um, and 
my situation right now, um, I don't have the refrigerator turned off. You do have a risk of short circuiting the new board that you put in and basically having the same issue happen again. But I have to empty out the refrigerator and pull it out because our breaker in this house isn't connected, all that kind of stuff. The breaker is for the whole kitchen and everything. So it's a bad situation. We're, we're gonna remodel our kitchen one day, but uh, yeah, just uh, unplug your refrigerator if you're gonna, if you wanna make sure you don't short it out. And we're gonna pry up on this corner here and then we're gonna push down. Then we're gonna pry here as well, push down, just like so. And be gentle with it. These are plastic tabs, they will break. And then slowly just wiggle it out, <clears throat> just like so. So you can see it's already come down. I don't need this anymore. I'm just gonna set it aside in the refrigerator. And then I'm just gonna pull and press on the clips with my fingers and pull it down. This board, as you can see, is kind of uh, crisscross. You can see the wires, they're crisscrossed. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna gently pull them this way and that'll expo expose <coughs> the light board uh, right there, okay? Next, what you're gonna do, they're just little push tabs. You just have to press. Uh, there's one here and there's one on the, the red and yellow wires. So we're just gonna press and then pull out. And then this one as well, press and gently pull out. And that is our old <clears throat> light board. If it'll focus, man, it does not wanna focus. There you go. That's our old light board. So you can buy the entire housing with the plastic and everything, but you don't need it. Trust me, you're, you're spending an additional expense for no reason. Just buy the board and I'll show you how easy it is to take the board out right now. All right, so I have the new board right here in the packaging. So I'm gonna open this up. It's in a type of plastic that prevents it from any static shock so it doesn't short out, which is great. So if you take a look at this board, which put that there, you can see that they are a little bit different. And I'll tell you right now, it's fine. All this other stuff doesn't mean anything. <laughs> so you have the connectors here on the new board. You have, focus, focus, focus. You have a connector here and you have a connector here and that's where our wires are gonna be. So basically I'm gonna, I'm gonna set the new board aside. I'm gonna try to put it up here right on the plastic. There are two tabs right here. There's one tab on this side and there's one tab. Help me focus here, come on, there we go. Focus, okay, there's one tab on this side and then there's one tab on this side. And all we have to do is push down on this one until it's out and then push, the, oh, push down on that one and then push down on that one. You can slowly grab it out and it just comes out just like that. And when you grab your new board, just uh, pay attention to your orientation um, it really doesn't matter, but it's best to put it right back uh, in the same orientation because it has this little, uh, in, actually it does matter. There's a little indentation here. You could see that it cuts in like that. That's how you wanna put your board back in there. So I'm gonna grab the new board and I'm gonna follow that indentation, which you can see there in that corner. And I'm gonna put it at an angle and then slide up until it clicks, just like that. Okay, and again, this is our old board, and this is our new board. You can see the differences on them, but I'm telling you, it doesn't matter. It'll work just the same, okay? In my opinion, all that other stuff is probably there just so it makes, makes it break quicker or something, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not a scientist or an electrical engineer or whatever that works on these, but um, I just know that they sell these on Amazon, super cheap, and they work just as well. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna flip it back in this orientation because it's, uh, it's gonna be crisscross when we put it in. So we're gonna put it this way. We're gonna take the first plug, we're gonna plug it in. This is the main power coming from the main control. And then this right here is the door switch. So this is what tells the board that, uh, I don't know if you can see it. Oh, there we go. 
So this uh, red wire is the door switch. So this is what tells the board that the door is open. So once we plug it in, we should see all the lights come on. Who's gonna bet on me? If you're a betting man or woman, you think it's gonna turn on? I bet it's gonna turn on. So let's see, moment of truth. Dun, 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 dun. Bam. There we go. Let there be light. So now we're gonna turn. So it's crisscrossed like that. You see the wires are crisscrossed. And then we're gonna pop this in. <clears throat> Just like so. All right, that's it. That's literally the repair. So watch this, open the door, lights are working, light on the bottom is also working. Go to the freezer, the freezer light is also working. And that's how simple it is. It's, I've seen people literally replace their refrigerators because of this issue. They're like, my lights don't work, I need to go toss out my refrigerator. I'm telling you, your refrigerator is working just fine. The lights have nothing to do 90% of the time with anything else. Um, one thing I wanted to mention, let me grab this box over here, is, again, I'll have a link to everything. And it's not just this model number that this repair will work on. These boards go for a number of different model numbers. So I will list uh, as much as I can find. They usually have like a guideline and I will list all the model numbers. So if your refrigerator doesn't specifically look like this, it doesn't mean that this repair won't work for you. So just do keep that in mind. If you do see this video and you're like, oh no, it's not the same refrigerator, not the same process. It is the same process. So if uh, the panel is on a different side, maybe it's on the side of the refrigerator instead of on top or whatever circumstances, don't let that overwhelm you. It's most likely the same exact repair. And I just wanna show you guys the other two boards that they come in a box and they're both together. <clears throat> And these are just light boards. They just have LEDs with a connector. So this shows you, see there's no relays or anything on it. It just has the LEDs on it. So it comes with these two, because let's say hypothetically one of your LEDs actually goes bad, then um, you can just replace the board itself because the light went out, like one of the lights burned out or something along those lines. So that's why they include these two. But 99% of the time, these LEDs usually run for like 50,000 hours or something along those lines, something ridiculous. It'll most likely outlast the refrigerator itself just by how efficient LEDs are. And uh, so yeah, these usually don't go bad. I've never had to replace these, but the kit does come with these. Um, so you might as well get it. They do sell kits that just have that uh, original board, which I'll show you the old board here, which you can see has a bunch of capacitors and all types of gadgets and gizmos on it. So it, this is just a send board. So basically what it does, it sends power to the other uh, lights and this board is what powers it. So if this goes bad, all of the lights will go bad uh, in the refrigerator or they'll turn off or they'll be sporadic or something along those lines. Um, so that is it. If you guys had any questions, uh, feel free to uh, send us an email or just uh, comment down below. We'll try to get to you guys as soon as possible. Uh, like I said, we do these videos because, you know, it builds trust uh, with our clients. And if you wanted to do it yourself, well, we always applaud DIYers. Um, so it doesn't affect our business or anything along those lines. The DIYers are usually going to do it themselves anyway. So this is for the people that want to see the video, get some knowledge, do a DIY, and also for the people that want to get the video and say, oh, okay, I trust this company and I want them to come out there and do a repair. So this is for the people that don't want to do it themselves as well. So that's it. Everything's functioning. Everything's all great. And I know I'm going to get questions about this, so I'm just going to clear the air right now. Yes, we are an appliance repair company, um, but ask any appliance repair company out there or any vendor or whatever. The reason I have a cheapo refrigerator like this, and I'll tell you the story about this refrigerator. Um, this refrigerator was actually at my parents' house. And when we moved to this property, there was no refrigerator here. And I was like, okay, what am I gonna go buy a new refrigerator? They had this refrigerator in their garage. They didn't need it anymore. And we've had this in our family for maybe eight years, something along those lines. And now it's been probably nine years at this point. And it runs great. There's nothing wrong with it. It's very simple. We don't use the ice maker. We don't use the dispenser or anything along those lines. So it's a great refrigerator in the sense because it's very simple. 
So I always tell our customers, if it's simpler, it's gonna last longer because there's less things to go bad. So always keep that in mind. If you want something that's gonna be reliable, look for something that doesn't have necessarily a display panel, that doesn't have necessarily uh, an ice maker. I mean, if you need an ice maker, you need an ice maker, but you know, those are the things that are most likely gonna go bad. If you guys have any questions, uh, comment below and uh, we'll see you guys on the next one.